Do you intend to go through this gate? Do you intend to stop me? No, but you should know what's waiting for you. This is not like in the old camp, and not like being with the sec loonies either. And what am I expecting here? There are no guards or Templars to look after you. It's every man for himself. The only ones who stick together are us mercenaries. What do the mercenaries do? We? We are the mercenaries of the Water Mages. Our target is to break free from here. We're working hard for it, and don't plan to take things easy like the guys from the old camp who are just having an easy time resting on the backs of the diggers. And we all follow Lee. He's a great man. He's the one who holds this damn camp together. What do the mages do? They investigate the magic characteristics of the ore our scrapers collect in the mine. As far as I know, they want to blow the whole damn ore mound sky high to free us from the barrier. Sounds dangerous. They said we shouldn't worry. You have a massive ore mound here? You could say that. We could buy the king's wife for that. But we don't give a damn about trading the ore with that old fart. We want to get out of here. Where's the ore mound? You want to see a real mound of ore, do you? There's a hole in the middle of the cave. They shove it all in there. But you won't get anywhere near it, I can tell you. The mages and our people guard the ore day and night. I was just curious. How are things going at the moment? The scrapers are still collecting. Once they have enough ore, we'll blow the mound up. What about the rest of the people? All oh, crooks, they don't give a damn about the camp. I'd rather just have the peasants guarding the front gate. Watch your back. What are you doing here? You looking for trouble? Hey, relax. I'm a newcomer. Huh? You look okay, though. You never know. You get new guys come along thinking they're it every day. What's a man like you doing with the peasants? Lee asked me that. I don't fight anymore, except to defend myself. I killed a guy once. And that was once too many. That's why they chucked me in this goddamn colony. It was justice. How did it happen? It was just an ordinary bar fight. I didn't mean to kill the guy. I just must have hit him too hard. I was a blacksmith at the time. I didn't know my own strength. Can you teach me to be as strong as you are? Even if I could, what would you use your strength for? Good question. I'll think about it. Why did you join this camp? I'll tell you. My only option was to join those cyclonies, and I didn't want to let those gurus of theirs mess about with my brain. In the old camp, I'd have had too much trouble with the guards, but the mercenaries and rogues do have some respect. They're afraid of you? Maybe. Anyway, I found peace here, and you should try the same.
Hey, you! Hi, I'm new here. It's good to see a fresh face. You must have been here a long time, huh? Damn right, boy. Hey, I, I was one of the first. In that case, you must know a lot about this place. So-so. Mm, I spend most of my time out here just picking rice. That's what let me get so old. We get some rice and the odd schnapps. That's not much, but that's enough. Why are you here? Taxes, boy, taxes. My shed was as empty as my stomach, and I just couldn't pay. So one day the soldiers came and brought me here, but it's no worse in here than it is out there. At least I won't starve in here. I always paid my taxes before, all my life. But that wasn't good enough for that son of a bitch with a crown. Hey, you! Hi, I'm new here. I just wanted to know what goes on around here. Ask someone else, will ya? I do nothing but work out here in the fields. I don't know nothing. Man, I'd love to tell the Rice Lord to do his own damn dirty work. If you don't like it, why are you working here? It happened the first day I got here. Lefty, one of the thugs that works for the Rice Lord, came up to me and asked if I could lend a hand in the rice fields. Sure, I said. I was new here and I wanted to make myself useful. The next day, when I was taking a short rest, the guy turned up again. You don't want to let all your colleagues do all their work by themselves, do you? he asked. I told him I was exhausted from the previous day's work, that I needed a rest and all that. But he never listened. He grabbed me by the collar and dragged me back to the field. From that day on, he stood outside my doorstep every day until I got used to going on my own. I didn't want any trouble with those guys. They're real cutthroats. You'd better steer clear of them. Who is the Rice Lord? He was one of the first to arrive here. He helped found the camp and start up the rice fields. These days, he just hangs out at the warehouse stretching his stomach, the fat pig. Do you have a leader? Well, you could say the Rice Lord's our leader. But most of us only work for him because they're scared of him and his thugs. Not like me. Oh, I've been around a few years and I've had enough of being knocked around by the rogues in the camp. The rice fields are just right for me. Hey, you! You're from the sect camp, aren't you? We call it the Brotherhood. I'm Bal Kagan. The sleep will be with you. What are you doing here? Originally, I was sent here to convince people to join our Brotherhood. But these barbarians are not interested in spiritual enlightenment. Therefore, I'm restricted to selling swamp weed. And that is a popular occupation here. Too popular. I can hardly deliver as much as they want to have. Why don't they send an extra man here? Bal Isidro was meant to help me, but he just spends all day in the bar on the lake and trades his wheat for rice schnapps. He's addicted to the spirit. 
I fear I cannot expect any help from him. I could help you sell your weed to the people. I can only entrust such a large amount of weed to members of the Brotherhood. But you could help me give out gifts. Not everybody has tasted my goods yet. As soon as they've tried the weed, they'll want more, which means I can sell more. I thought you could hardly manage to do your tasks now. Bala Sidra will be taken care of soon. I've already sent a message to Korakalam. What's in it for me if I hand out the weed for you? I can reward you in many different ways. You can get magic spell scrolls from me, bearing the powerful magic of the sleeper. Or I can help you join our community if that's what you want. I have very good contacts to Korakalam and Baal Tion. Both are very close to E. Baryon, our master. I can pay you with plain ore as well if you prefer. A hundred nuggets should be enough for your efforts. Okay, give me the weed. Who do you want me to give it to? You're sure to find someone who'll take it. Talk to people. But only give one stalk to each person. Uh, one more thing. If you let somebody take the weed from you or if you smoke it yourself, our deal ceases to exist. Hey, you! Are you looking for something? I'm looking for leaks in the dam. I reckon there's a lurker gnawing at the foundations. The beast grinds its teeth and claws against the stones and wooden beams underwater. If it carries on, the whole dam will soon be undermined. Did you build the dam? Yes, I built the dam back when we founded the new camp. Of course everyone helped but I was the master builder. Is there anything I can do to help? Sure, stop that beast from gnawing at my dam. Where can I find the beast? I'd hunt round on the other side of the lake. Nobody ever goes there. That's probably where its den is. And where do you want to go? Why, in there. Forget it. Silas only wants to see scrapers and rogues in his bar. I'm a scraper, and I'm thirsty. You don't look like no scraper. You won't get in here like that, boy. How about some ore as an admission fee? How much ore exactly is some? A hundred ore nuggets should be enough. Truly spoken, you can get in. How's the schnapps business going? Go in and ask Silas. We can't complain. You only let in rogues and scrapers? We don't mind the sec brothers either. But apart from that, nobody gets in here. You don't look very happy. I'm not. I need to get rid of a whole pile of weed. You're here to sell goods from the sect camp? Yes, but I just can't be bothered. I could sell the weed for you for a consideration, of course. Forget it. I'm not as drunk as all that. You just go running away with it. Here you go. Have another drink on me. Thanks, man. I'll drink to your health.
Think about it. Give me the weed and we'll share the profit. No, man. I'll manage. I'll tell you something. You have a problem. Val Kagan will make sure you'll be replaced. What? The sleeper have mercy on me. I need to get rid of this stuff. Think about it. Give me the weed and we'll share the profit. Oh, man. I need to get rid of this stuff. You wouldn't try to make me look like a fool, would you? I give you my word. Good. Here's this stuff. You should get at least 400 ore for it. That would be 200 for each of us. I'll be waiting here. Come back as soon as you have the ore. Do you know who'll take bigger amounts here? If I knew that, I would have gone myself. I feel much better now that I'm rid of this stuff. I've sold the weed. And my 200 ore? Here it is. Good. Now I don't give a damn about Bal Kagan anymore. <laughs> it was a good idea to do business with you. Show me your goods. Choose something. Hey, you! You're from the Free Mine, right? Right. How'd you find that out? I just want to talk to you. I'm not here to talk. Hey, you! Make yourself scarce! That was Ugh. lucky!
Just wait. What are you creeping around there for? Hey, you. Lucky for you. But I would have enjoyed polishing your mug. Hi, who are you? That's none of your business. I don't like your mug. Who are you? I'm Wolf. I make armor. We're gonna get a bow here. You've come to the right address for that. I offer good value for good ore. Can you teach me something? Your dexterity determines the success of your hunt. I'd like to learn how to handle a bow. I can teach you. But I can't do it as a favor. After all, I have to eat as well. How much? Anything I teach you will cost you 50 ore. I don't haggle. How do I get furs and skins? On the way to the new camp, you'll come across Aiden. He can teach you how to skin animals. Radford and Drax are hanging around in the north of the old camp. It's on the way to the trading square. I'm looking for better armor. I can't sell you anything. Lairs would kill me if I sold armor to strangers. Do you trade in anything else? I buy furs and skins from the hunters. If you get something like that, I'll buy it.
in trouble. That's how it goes. That's really not my change. problem. You look like you could do with some swamp weed. You got some? I'll have a stalk for ten or <laughs> come back any time, brother. Something about this story after all. Hey, you! I have some swamp weed here. Do you want some? Sure. Here's ten or Come by again when you get some more, will ya? Swamp weed? I'll give you ten ore for it. Here. Any time you need to get rid of some more, just stop by. You look like you could do with some swamp weed. You got some? I'll have a stalk for ten ore. <laughs> Come back any time, brother. Hey, you! Me? Exactly. Come over here. What do you want? You've just arrived, haven't you? I noticed it straight away. There are a lot of things you need to know. I can teach you a few things. Besides, you have to watch who you talk to. Butch, for example. That's the guy over there, next to the campfire. Be aware of him. What's the matter with Butch? He has the mean habit of beating up the new ones. So you better avoid meeting him. What can you teach me? It depends. What do you want to know? Hey, you! I have some swamp weed here. Do you want some? Sure. Here's ten ore. Come by again when you get some more, will ya? There must be something about this story. Listening to all the blather. I better keep out of it. Hey, you! Some that people story never learn. Do you want some swamp weed? I'll give you ten ore for it. Here. Any time you need to get rid of some more, just really stop problem. by. Do you want some swamp weed? I'll give you ten ore for it. Here. Any time you need to get rid of some more, just stop by. As long as I'm not involved, rely on somebody. Now, where are you going? I'd like to be in his shoes, though. Where can I go? To Laris. I want to see Laris. I doubt he'll talk to you. Just you leave that to me. I won't stop you. Some people never learn. Rely on somebody and you're in trouble. That's how it goes. Where do you want to go? I want to meet Laris. Laris is here. But you need a good reason to disturb him. That's not really my problem. I better keep out of it. I want to join your gang. Many people want to join us. You'll have to make a better offer if you want to pass through this gate. That's how it goes. I 
better keep out of it, as long as I'm not involved. Mordrag sent me. Mordrag hasn't been seen here for some time. He's probably changed over to the old camp. I came here with him. Mordrag's back? If you meet him, tell him Lares wants to see him. Mordrag gave me something for Laris. What is it? A ring. Certainly a precious piece. Okay, you can see him. As long as I'm not involved. Hang on. I have the list of requirements for the old mine. Not bad. How'd you get it? Ian gave it to me. You got a nerve? So they sent you to test me, did they? Thoris must already be going mad, I'm sure. Diego gave me the order. Diego does what Thoris tells him to. If I know him, he'd die laughing if he knew that she was here. Can I get in there now or not? Just go on in. Laris won't believe his eyes. Where can I learn something? With me? I can help you to improve your dexterity and strength. About that story after all. I want to join your gang. Oh, yeah? What have you got to show for yourself, then? I have the list of requirements for the old mine on me. No, I don't believe it. I must say, you do seem to have a nerve. Show me. Here it is. Indeed. Do you know what we're gonna do with it? We'll add to it, and you'll take the list back to the old camp. Then, when they deliver the stuff to the mine, we'll mug them and take the lot. It won't take a minute. <laughs> Here's the list. You know what to do. Mordrag sent me. He gave me a ring for you. A precious piece. It's part of normal procedure here to share your booty with your gang leader. But the fact that he gave you the ring proves that he must think a lot of you. I want you to go to him and tell him something from me. Tell him I want somebody in the sect camp. The Brotherhood is planning something big. I want to know exactly what's going on there. Rely on somebody in your That's how it goes. What else can I do? Bal Isidro from the sect camp has weed worth at least 400 ore on him. I want you to get it from him. I don't care how you do it. If you mean the massive heap of weed, I've already got it. Looks like you've been real smart. If you have the weed, sell it. Bring me the 400 ore. Then we'll talk again to see if you'll be admitted to the gang. I have the 400 ore. Good. Very good. I believe that should be sufficient now. Let's talk about something else That's instead. Really not my problem. Let's talk about something else you instead. Have to watch what you tell me. Same old story. If you think. Every time. Same old story. Listening to all that blathering anymore. You have to watch what you tell there was me. a time when things would have gone very differently. Ah, you probably tried to say an old story every time. Greetings, magician. May the blessing of Adonis be with you. I can help you to increase your magic powers or give you some useful items. What can I do for you? I want to acquire magic writings. Go rushing into anything. Hang on. Oh, 
like to be a I'm not listening to all the blathering anymore. I... Well, was the there time. must be something about that story after all. It was obvious that there People would be always death. talk. for the High Magician of the Circle of Fire. We are the magicians of the Circle of Water. The magicians of the Circle of Fire live in the old camp. But I can't get into the castle. Could you help me? Well, occasionally we send messengers to our brothers in the old camp. But we only entrust these messages to Lara's men. He's been seeing to it for many years now that our messengers arrive safely. I'd like to join you. If you want to join us, you should see Lee or Laris. I'd like to become a magician. We cannot afford to spread our knowledge among our enemies. We will not even consider instructing you unless you prove your loyalty to us. You want to destroy the barrier. How exactly do you plan to do that? We need major amounts of magic ore. We'll release the entire magic power and a great magic right to blow up the barrier. Of course, such a big amount of ore attracts a lot of rogues and crooks. That's why we need a man to defend our plan. Hey, you! How are things? Get lost! Hey, a new face! Who are you? I am Gorn, mercenary of the magicians. See you later. See you later. What do you have to do as a mercenary of the magicians? Lee has made a deal with the magicians. He hires the best fighters to be found in the colony, which means us. We take care that the scrapers can mine the ore without being bothered and keep trouble away from the magicians. The magicians make sure we'll get out of here, and we get a small share of the ore as our pay. Can I stay somewhere here without having to kick somebody out of his hut? I don't think so. But if that's really what you want to do, go and see Shrike. He's taken the hut right at the front, at the entrance to the cave. It was empty, but it really belonged to us. Us? Well, us mercenaries. Mercenaries and rogues live separately here. And none of Laris's gang should be here, on this side of the big hall. It doesn't make much difference, really. But he didn't ask. And you can't let those rogues get away with everything, because then they get real cocky. What do I have to do to join the new camp? Before Lee admits you, you'll have to improve your fighting skills. It doesn't matter what weapon you use, but you have to be good. Besides, you should be very experienced with the life here and everything. If you don't want to go to the other camps, you should try to join the rogues before you start as a mercenary. Maybe. See you later.
Hey, you! Do you want some swamp weed? Sure, I do. Here's ten ore. If you get your hands on any more, you know... I have some swamp weed here. Do you want any? Why not? I'll give you ten ore for it. Go and ask some of the other guys. They're bound to want some, too. Hey, you! You won't have much time to be sorry for it. Get lost. I'll talk to you later. Put the weapon... Ugh. Maybe. Shrike has moved to another hut. Good. Torlop just told me that he wanted to have a word with the guy. Maybe. See you later. You won't have much time to be sorry for it. I thought that it was a good thing. Do you want some swamp weed? Sure, I do. Here's ten ore. If you get your hands on any more, you know. I have some swamp weed here. Do you want any? Why not? I'll give you ten ore for it. Go and ask some of the other guys. They're bound to want some, too. Do you want some swamp weed? Sure, I do. Here's ten ore. If you get your hands on any more, you know... Who are you? I'm Torloff. I was involved in a mutiny as mate of a royal warship. It wasn't such a good idea. The greater part of the crew was on the captain's side. That's how I came to be here. I'd like to join you. We won't take you on until you get real good. I'm telling you now. Until then, you better stay on good terms with Laris and his crew. You want some advice, boy? Steal something important from the old camp, or the old mine. As soon as the boys notice that they're against Gomez, they won't have any more trouble. And how do I do that? They need to win their trust, and then get the grip of them. Hey, you! Do you want some swamp weed? Sure, I do. Here's ten ore. If you get your hands on any more, you know... Hey, you! Good. Don't do that again. Do you know where you're heading? Where? You're heading straight for Lee, our leader. What do I need to do to make you let me see Lee? Nothing. This isn't the old camp, and Lee isn't Gomez. He doesn't need an army of henchmen to hide behind. 
he can defend himself. We are only here in case he needs us. Hey, you! You're the boss of the mercenaries, aren't you? That's right, boy. Which task do the mage's mercenaries have? Very simple. Protect the ore, protect the mages. Sometimes the mages have a special task for one of us. I'd like to join you. You have a nerve. Do you honestly think I'll just take anybody who walks in here? You can only become one of us after you've spent a certain time in the camp. I'll observe you. It's really not there my time when things would have gone very different. I'm not listening to all the blathering anymore. That's really not I'd my problem. I'd better keep out of this story. Oh, I doubt that's ever likely to change. Stop! Nobody may pass without the passing. Same story shared out the weed. The first new customers have already been to see me. You've done a good job. What will you have as a reward? These spell scrolls are quite interesting. What kind of spells are they? Fist of wind, charm, telekinesis, pyrokinesis, and sleep. You may pick three of these spells. I'll take the spell scrolls. A good decision. Pick three. That was three. Use them wisely. Show me your goods. As you wish. Laris has a message for you. 
Tell me about it. He wants to know what's going on in the sect camp, and he wants you to find out. I get the feeling this problem will solve itself. I really might buy that story after all. Hey, you! How's things? We put another spoke in Gomez's wheel. Three dead gods and lots of stuff to sell. I'll drink to that. You're one of the guys who keep raiding the old camp. No. Only when it's worth it. What have you got to offer? Let's rephrase that question. What have you got to offer? I'm only interested in big consignments. Balor said you'd be interested in Swampweed. Mm-hmm. You want to trade? Let's make a deal. What do you want? You have to watch what you tell me. Same old story every time. Find somebody and you in trouble. That's how it goes. Let's talk about something about that story after all. How are things? Great. We trade our homemade rice snaps for oil. Well, the boys carry in enough oil. Where should they spend it if not here? I want a drink. You have to pay for it. Hey, you! Do you want some swamp weed? Sure, I do. Here's ten ore. If you get your hands on any more, you know... Do you want some swamp weed? Sure, I do. Here's ten ore. If you get your hands on any more, you know...
supposed to be. Good. Don't do that again. I'm the best mining engineer this damn colony has ever seen, my boy. I make sure half our boys don't go getting themselves killed by fallen rocks just because they're too stupid to scrape the right places. To join you as a scraper. Oh, yeah? Well, just don't think you're gonna get anything much out of it. There's three portions of rice a day. Any extra, you'll have to see to yourself. Do you know why we're doing this? We're doing this job so one day we can all walk out of here to freedom. Well, that means all the ores to be handed in. Then it goes on the big ore mound. Once a month, everybody who's been working here gets 50 ore to get stoned on. That's the most important things you ought to know. Do you at least have any experience on the job? Yes. Good. And you know what to watch out for. Here's your protective clothing. You'll have to find your own pickaxe. Enjoy yourself! How much more have you collected so far? The mages say that we won't need much more. We'll go to the new camp and have a look at the mound.
have them in mind. What do you need? What about a good sword, thick armor, or access to the mine? I can give you something that will make your eyes pop out of the sockets. You won't need to give me a small faith of a bit of yours. What do you say? What will I have to do for it? Very simple. Give me five apples, two bottles of rice snaps, five bottles of beer, two pieces of cheese, and two bunches of grape. Business. Believe me, you won't be sorry. As I just said, you'll really defeat any kind of enemy. Okay, I'll see what I can do. Very good, but hurry up. Don't forget to put my apples, two bottles of rice schnapps, five bottles of beer, three loaves of bread, two pieces of cheese, and two bunches of grapes, okay? Of course. so many different things. Okay then, I'll repeat it slowly. I want you to get five apples, two bottles of white schnapps, five bottles of beer, three loaves of bread, two pieces of cheese, and two bunches of grapes. Did you get it this time? All right, sure, I'll hurry up. I'm sorry, unfortunately I don't have any time to chat. Oh, you're busy. I'll see ya.
I've killed the beast. Great. I got some of the Rice Lord's men to help me fix some of the damage it's caused. Now I can finally get some sleep. Just arrived. We need somebody to take some water to the peasants in the rice fields. This way you can make friends with a few people. What do you think? Maybe later. But I won't need anybody later. I need your help right now. You want to help me or not? Sure, I'll be glad to help. Great. Go to the rice lord. He'll give you the water and tell you everything you need to know. What are you doing here? I'm working for the Rice Lord. If you need something, ask Lefty. You take care of the rice fields, don't you? Why? You looking for work? Lefty sent me. Oh yeah? What did he say? I'm to bring the peasants some water. Right. Here's a dozen bottles of water. There's about twice that amount of peasants. So make sure you share it out evenly. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm working for the Rice Lord. If you need something, ask Lefty. Lefty said, I brought you some water. Thanks, man. I was just about to start drinking the mud. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Hey, you! Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Hey, you!
Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Just wait. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Hey, you. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Keep it to yourself. Anybody need to know rushing into anything. Hey, you! Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Everything okay with you? Yeah, it's good to see a new face. Hang on. We talked earlier. No, no, no. We can't have done it. I've never seen you before in my life. Sure. Hey, you! Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, boy. I needed that. Hey, you! Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. Thanks, man. A bit longer and I'd have started drinking mud. Just wait. Lefty sent me. I brought you some water. <sighs> Thanks, man. My mouth's like a desert. for something after all. I think this is exactly the right task for you. From now on, you do it every day. Go on with it right now. Let's talk about something else. Shouldn't Stand. leave everything we hear. There was a time some things would have gone never. very differently. We could make a deal. What have you got to offer? If you think, I thought that had been cleared up ages ago. That won't happen again. You think? Same old story. That was it every clever time. I wouldn't like to be I in his shoes, that had been cleared up ages ago. Some people never... I wouldn't mind. like to be in his shoes, though. There was a time things would have gone very differently. Maybe. You have to watch what you tell people. It was obvious there would be trouble ahead. 
I doubt it's ever I'm not change. listening to all that blathering anymore. Was it very clever? There must be something about that story after all. You shouldn't believe everything Some here. people never learn. I doubt it's ever like Some you Some people never learn. It was obvious there would well, be trouble. I am somebody in your trouble. That's how it goes. That won't happen Let's again. Let's talk about something else instead. If you think there was a time when things would have gone very differently, that's not really my there problem. There was a time when things would have gone very differently. There was a time. You have and to things watch would have what gone you tell very me. differently. If you think, let's talk about something else instead. People always talk. I am somebody. Hang on. Better not go rushing into anything. 